हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू चैनल इन टूडेज जावा इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन वी विल लर्न व्हाट्स द डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्टार्ट मेथड एंड रन मेथड्स इन जावा द रन मेथड डिफाइंस द कोड दैट अ थ्रेड विल एग्जीक्यूट द स्टार्ट मेथड इज यूज टू एक्चुअली क्रिएट अ न्यू थ्रेड एंड देन इंटरनली कॉल द रन मेथड सो कॉलिंग रन डायरेक्टली डज नॉट स्टार्ट अ न्यू थ्रेड इट जस्ट रन लाइक अ नॉर्मल मेथड नाउ लेट्स गो थ्रू द कंपेरिजन टेबल start method starts a new thread and executes run method in that thread whereas run method executes the code within the current thread a start method creates a new call stack for the thread whereas run method runs on the same call stack as the caller a start method is multi threaded which means run parallel to main thread whereas run method is single threaded runs sequentially A start method is called by the JVM whereas run method is called by the programmer like a normal method. A start method cannot be called multiple times it is called only once per thread whereas run method can be called multiple times like any method. Here in the example when you call run method the code runs inside the main thread no new thread is created. But when you call a start method the JVM creates a new thread and then automatically calls the run method in that thread. And that's how start method enables true multi threading. Here are the key points that should be remembered. Always use a start method to begin multi threading. Calling run method manually just executes like a normal method. A start method can only be called once per thread instance. So remember run method defines what the thread does but start method is what actually starts it always use start method to achieve real multi threading and that's it for this question if this video was helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe